Hello, Hackaday. This is PK here to talk about the 209th entry to the Hackaday contest. So what do I want to build? That's a pogo plug EO2. So is that actually. The pogo plug is a hackable uh, Linux device and those two pogo plugs actually run uh, Arch Linux. That's an Intel Galileo Arduino development board. That's an Arduino Uno. And that's an Arduino Nano. I think it just disappeared a little bit. Uh, something that you'll notice about all of those devices that are down there. Uh, none of them have graphics capabilities on them. So reading through the entries on the Hackaday contest, I've noticed that since one of the themes of the contest is connectedness, um, a lot of uh, folks are going down the path of connecting devices to other devices. Uh, I wanted to go down a more uh, classic and historic path, uh, the connecting to humans path. Um, I've been interested in graphics for a little while, and uh, I wanted to do something you know, a little bit more useful than just hooking up one of those uh, little, uh, you know, eBay, SPI, or Spy, or however you pronounce it, screens to one of these things and making it work. I wanted to uh, create what I call one of the first generation technology video cards. So either VGA or NTSC um, at a useful, um, you know, in my mind, 640 by 480 pixels. So to do this project, I wanted to use a CPLD and make a small uh, video card, you know, for this embedded work over here. My, my ultimate goal is actually to make a nice little human interface to on one of these things below. I haven't decided which one yet uh, for an easy to use uh, project. I've got planned for a gift to my wife, but I promise to make the actual graphics card unit stand alone and useful enough that uh, you folks will be able to just grab my code and my schematics and just go build something that's uh, that's useful. Um, you know, in the spirit of coming up with ridiculous names to attach things to, uh, you know, like I said, my website, uh, actually, the acronym stands for Don't Quit Your Day Job. Um, I wanted to name this project VGA Tonic. So that's my overview for the most basic open source video card that you can imagine and I'm tentatively calling this VGA Tonic. So I hope you'll follow along and uh, I'll see you all around.